Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to overclock your monitors. So what exactly that means is, for example, let's say you have a 768p monitor and you want to get 1080p or you already have a 768p monitor and you're fine with that resolution. You want to get 75 hertz out of that monitor or something. Or, um, for example, my monitor uh, it's a 768p, the monitor that I'm using. I have a second, I'm a, a gaming monitor, but I'm using this one because this one is not 165 hertz, so I can actually overclock this monitor better. So, um, what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to right click on your desktop, open the NVIDIA control panel, and then you're gonna be probably here on the home screen. So, um, let me cut my webcam off really quick, and my stream overlays, but if you guys can see, there's change resolution right here. So you're going to want to click on that, and then from there, you should see like 1080p and stuff. I don't know why, but it's not, oh yeah, see, 1366 by 768 is the native resolution for this monitor. And then it says Ultra HD HD HD, oh wait, Ultra HD HD and SD. So, it says 60 hertz, and you can go all the way down to 23 hertz, and I can barely even see what my mouse is doing. No, I don't want to keep those settings. Jesus Christ, that was scary. But, um, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to press on customize, and then this will be unticked. You're going to want to click on enable resolutions not enabled by the display. And you're going to want to do create custom resolution and then put in your desired screen height and width so for example if i really wanted to i could go 1440p but i don't want to because my computer is not that powerful so what you can do is you can go up to 61 test that does not look right on my screen on my monitor so i don't know what happened there but, um, I think it just crashed. But, um, for example, keep on going up by one. I'm not going to do that because that's going to take a long time. But keep on going up by one. So go up to 62 and then test. And then if that works, go up to 63, test. If that works, 64, test. 65, test. 66, test. 67, test. 68, test. 69, test. And if those all work, you can go up to 70 test if that works go up to 71 72 73 74 75 and keep on going until your monitor turns black and then when it turns black it won't come back to color so for example i know this monitor can run 76 hertz so if we click on test now yes it looks more smooth you guys can't see it because i'm recording in 50 fps but it do be looking more smooth than 60 hertz by a little bit but yeah, so you can see it's 76 hertz and it looks pretty smooth. It looks smoother than 60, definitely. I can see that. But let's say yours doesn't bottom. Let's say that you don't know where yours is going to bottom out at. And then you go up to 77 and then test it. And then. Okay, you can see my desktop, but it says invalid format on my monitor. And I can't go off my monitor either so let me show you what it looks like there is nothing on my monitor like you can see my desktop in the screen recording but that's the computer that's not the monitor so yeah now that it didn't work at 77 let me fix my camera now that it didn't work at 77 we know that 77 will not work so then we're just gonna dial it back to 76 once more test that Duplicate resolution, it already exists in a custom section, so you can just click on cancel, and then click on OK. And if you have like 32 resolutions that you don't want to keep seeing, you can just untick it and it won't come up. But if you leave it ticked, there might be two of the same 1920x1080 progressive, or you can just do this, you can switch between 61 and 76. But, that's basically it, because... That's how you overclock your monitor. And you can also do that with resolution if you really wanted to. I guess I can do it right now. If I really wanted to, I can go up to 2560. 
by 1440 at 76 Hertz and theoretically as long as it's not going past bandwidth limitations of HDMI which is um, I think 18 gigabits so you should be able to go 2560 by 1440 and then multiply that by 76 so I'm actually I guess gonna go into Chrome and I can 2560 times 1440 times 76 and it's 28 28 that doesn't make sense 28 oh 2.8 there we go that would be 2.8 so I, I don't think I, I think I messed up when I was explaining earlier. I said it's 18 gigabytes of data. I th sorry, I messed up, and I think it's 600 megahertz. So you, as you saw in the calculator, it was 280. So for example, if this monitor supported it, this monitor could theoretically run probably 8K at 60 hertz. Probably, I don't know. Depends over HDMI too. But as you can see, 2560 by 1440 at 76 hertz does work. So it looks zoomed in for you because it's a bigger resolution on a smaller scale. But um, it does work. I can see everything just fine. Like, watch, not even looking at my OBS. Look at the camera. Well, I have to look at my screen. But I'll look at the camera. Press no. Didn't even look at OBS. It worked. But, so yeah, that's how you overclock your monitor, pretty much. That's basically it. Um, I'm gonna get off, go edit this video, and reset up my setup, because I basically tore it apart to do this. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm out. Peace.